Amoeba Music Berkeley with Elish. Always a pleasure, Billy Jack. Good to see How's you, my man. And uh, again, lots of great new releases this week. I see yeah, God, you got I'm, um, I've been having uh, Zion problems I. keeping up with everything. There's just like so much coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I love it. You know, it's just right off the bat, we got the new Zion Eye uh, Shadow Boxing. Uh, another official entry in the catalog of uh, some Bay Area legends there. It's yeah. got Guapale, G and E, uh, aka Grouch and Eli are on one song, and you know. Bass Nectar is doing some edits on there too. Uh, very, very cool. I mean, I was a big fan of Eli and Amp Live's album last year, and this probably just carries on in that tradition. So, yeah, uh, that album sold like hotcakes. I'm sure this one will too. And he's such I mean, a diverse producer, Amp yep. Live too. You never really know which direction yeah, he's going to really take, but it's always he's good. Whatever you know, he does. They, he's sort of straight away from sampling in recent years, so you know, it's, you know, it's going to be some like fully composed music, um, which is cool. Uh, this one. Dropped last week, Lupe Fiasco's new album, uh, Food and Liquor 2. Uh, pretty. Not to be odd confused cover. with Metallica. Or yeah, I'm not on the cover. Or Jay Z's Black <laughs> or album, Jay-Z's. for that matter. Um, I did like the, the single bitch bad from this, was pretty interesting. I don't know if you saw it, but it goes through a whole history of the use of the word bitch in hip hop and how it's affected women and stuff like that. So I, I was a fan of that. I thought it was a pretty creative concept. I haven't listened to the whole thing, but you know, Lupe has been selling super, super well. As he always does, a uh, big Chicago rapper there, mm-hmm. so worth checking for. Um, speaking of big names, we also got uh, Cray Sean's new album. Yeah, and I see uh, it's marked as an import. So. It is. We, it never came out in the U.S. as a physical CD. I was going to mention that. It's only available in the U.K. as a CD in the U.S. on iTunes, but we did snag up some... Uh, some copies from the UK just because we know how popular she is in Oakland. So hopefully somebody will come and scoop those up. And uh, Murs and Fashan just put out a new record too. This is a collab between uh, two pretty big names in the sort And they of did LA the show down in LA. Yeah, they, they, they've, done a, a they've, done a couple of, they've done a couple of shows, done a little run of them. Uh, we almost got them over here, actually. We had to pass in that. Actually, Merce did a great uh, in-store here some years yeah, ago. Yeah, he did. He has played here before, and he shops here sometimes, too. He's really cool. But, you know, uh, cool collab. You know, for Sean, you might know from his work with Exile, too. Mm-hmm. And he's on the Blue and Exile's recent album as well. So that's cool. And, you know, I know that um, Merce isn't slowing down because he has a album with Ninth Wonder, their last collaborative album, apparently, uh, is coming out later this month, from the 16th or so. Um, what else did we get in recently? We got in... Is that the one on uh, Mellow Music? It's not on Mellow Music Group. It's, it's on uh, Ninth Wonders label. It's, Ninth it's Wonders, a wonderful okay. world music. Okay. Um, yeah, but we got um, some weird uh, punchline, like old school, uh, terrifying punchline rappers coming back out the woodwork. So we got Chino Excel's new album, uh, Reconstruction. You might remember, you know, fans of like battle rap, sort of punchline hip hop were huge, really into this guy. We have had some requests for this one. Um, so that is back. That's got, you know, like Immortal Technique is on there. And Rock Hour Science with Dilated Peoples is on there. And also in the same vein, and even with similar cover, uh, new Army of the Pharaohs album, uh, Jedi Mind Tricks affiliates. You know, okay. it's got the Jedi Mind Tricks on there with also, I think, like Apathy and Self Titled are part of this. Um, yeah, they're definitely on a couple of songs in there. Reef the Lost Cause is a part of it. Dope Nixon. Got, oh, they got some some of Brooklyn Academy on there too, like Lock McLeod's on there and stuff. So that might, that might be cool. Um, that kind of like, oh, and let's not forget, of course, Flying Lotus just dropped today too. Right. Uh, of course, the big one of the biggest electronic artists out there. But really, uh, uh, until the first cousin comes. of hip hop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, first cousin of hip hop, right? And uh, I gotta say, like, I love I love what Flying Lotus is doing. I also love that he uses his the massive amounts of money he makes to fund really good artists. You know, he has his own label, Brain Feeder, that puts out really interesting artists, including the uh, recent Gaslamp Killer album, which is probably my my favorite album in five some odd years from an electronic artist. So you know, it's always cool. Let's uh, check over here. Yep. Uh, Flying Lotus is right here. We do have more of them. We just have to grab some more of them for okay. this section. Uh, Brother Ali just came out on Wax today. This is a terrific album. Uh, I do recommend people checking it out. Now, coming from someone who's not a huge Jake One fan, even and Jake One produced this whole thing. I thought this album was solid as hell. Like all the beats are really good. Like Brother Ali has very good beat selection and the whole. And thing coming is, to town soon with Homeboy Sam. Yeah, right? Phil Morris. Yeah. yeah, the Phil Morris. That's right. Uh, I think it's on the 22nd or something. Yeah, this one. Oh, this one I definitely need to point out too. This is um, 
one of those unusual titles that we get in, but this is Bat Sauce, a Florida producer who's on Galapagos 4, and uh, he makes really cool instrumental hip-hop. It's very, like, funky, sort of uh, jazzy stuff. It's got a lot of, like, jazz horns on it and stuff like that. Um, this, actually, this vinyl has selections from his CD, which we had, on the side A. So there's, like, about six songs from the CD on side A. Side B, all exclusive tracks on wax. You can okay. only get on wax, including some collabs with uh, Quasar of Typical Cats on there, who he did a great collab album with, and his wife, Lady Daisy, who's a really cool singer, and some other people. Uh, I do highly recommend this one. Okay. Um, I also wanted to mention that we are currently sold out of the Typical Cats, which is one of my favorite albums this year, but we should have eight of them coming in in the next day or two. But okay. uh, very highly recommend checking that one out. The album's called Three, and uh, they are just some of the best rappers on the planet. Uh, it's like their their key album, too, is this new one. So we'll get into that one next week, okay. probably in about a week or two. But, All right. Uh, Thanks so much, Elin. Yeah. Meet with Music Berkeley.